Hey everyone, I'm Norn Queen Alexis, and before I get started, this is a news article. I am making sure I state this because of what we're going to be discussing. We are going over recent changes in policies on Games Workshop. This is a news segment. Holy gods. Okay. So, um, yeah, uh, GW, and this is the actual Games Workshop website. Like, we can, we can, we can find this. Look, say, boop. See, it is the actual GW website. Uh, they made some changes recently, and these changes are going to be uh, this. This actually might get my channel shut down, and I'm sponsored by Games Workshop. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and read this over as though it as as a news article, okay? So Warhammer Beyond the Tabletop Games Workshop has been designing and selling miniatures games for over forty years. Uh, actually, it's from the 80s, so yeah, over 40 years. Uh, our design studio, blah, 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 I don't care about that. We all love seeing our fans enjoying all things Warhammer. Well, apparently that's not true. Uh, we also have a duty to preserve and protect our intellectual property's rights. This is very true. Every single company does have the rights to do this. Now, most companies allow fan fiction and fan fare and fan sales of certain merchandise, including intellectual properties, because it works as advertisement for the company itself. You can see this at things like anime conventions, comic cons, uh, Phoenix convention here down in Arizona. And you can see this all over the world. Uh, a lot of companies just kind of forego it just so that they get more advertising out of it but a company does have the right to protect its own properties. This is very, very, very true. And this does not violate any free brooms that you have, okay? Let's get that out of the way. Freedom of expression, freedom of creation, and uh, freedom of, um, uh, uh, um, God, what, what am I trying to say? Free speech. It, this doesn't violate anything. This is a private business. It can do this. Um, this is the only way we can ensure that Warhammer will be around forever. That is not true. Our goal is to do this while continuing to support the passion and creative of our fans. Uh, yes, they have sponsored many individuals in the Warhammer community, which is awesome. We will uh, level with you. This will be difficult act to balance. Well, yes, this is difficult for every and all businesses to do. You have to find a very fair balance between what is appropriate for them to make out and what isn't appropriate. It's case in point, somebody like Remlays, who is spreading the word of Games Workshop, uh, 40K Theories, and is doing an amazing job. Wolf Lord Rowe, who's doing an amazing job. Mini Wargame, who's doing an amazing job of getting new players into the game. Uh, even my channel, I'll pat myself on the back, but even my channel brings in new players to the game. But then you have p channels that are a little bit uh, bad. And we all know the bad channels. I don't even need to say them. Needless to say, they got into a lot of trouble with Warhammer in the past, and uh, this will be a very easy way for them to shut them down. Now, is this a bad thing? No, not really. Does this uh, inhibit your freedom of speech? No, it's not the government doing it. The freedom of speech is strictly the government trying to control it, not a company, a private business trying to control their intellectual properties. That's totally fair and balanced. Um, but I see this as a way of them shutting down problematic channels, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, Warhammer will be around forever, so goes to continue in support of creative, blah, 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 that's not true. Uh, so everything exciting Warhammer hobby activities you are working on, we ask that you follow the below guidelines at all times. No, because I am making this video right now, and this is a news article, and I am allowed to do this. By doing so, we can all continue to enjoy all things Warhammer for as long as they... for a long time to come. This is a way of stopping third-party printers, uh... Uh, third-party bit sites, things like Creature Caster when GW is a four billion dollar business and should just buy out its competition and that would be the easiest way for them to deal with third parties instead of just trying to ban them at their tournaments. This was a big thing uh, a little while ago so I don't see the big problem here. They could just buy them out and act like a big business. Uh, these guidelines do not cons uh constitute formal approval or authority of any fan content, content or waiver our legal... Uh, okay, so basically they're just saying that they can just shut things down whenever the hell they feel like it. Again, this is pretty basic for any and all businesses. Uh, this is the same in anime communities with 
uh, certain types of uh, like Naruto uh, fan made merchandise being sold at any com- at any time the company could just shut down the creator because they are committing copyright and intellectual theft and making profit off of something that they do not own even if they draw it with the intent of it being a um, a 40k lookalike uh, so long as it's well in this case it would be Naruto but this is why I use artists that are very 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 um, creative and get around these little loopholes and I use a lot of fan art and I use um, my buddy Zypher who is the artist for my channel he does all of the amazing artwork that you see in all of my um, thumbnails and everything so I've tried to keep myself safe from this for a very long time fan fiction hobby books and magazines now this ought to be interesting individuals may write their own stories hobby books and magazines based on our characters and the setting, but they these must not include text, artwork, or imagery copied from any official Games Workshop, Games Workshop material. Okay, Games Workshop, you're going to have to tell us who the artists are that you hire in order to do this so we can contact them to see what contract they have with you so that we may ourselves buy out the contract from them so that we can use the artwork in our own videos because that is something that you can do. Um, now, should you do that? Probably not. You should just get your own art commissioned and then you'd get around this problem. Uh, be non-commercial with no money being received or paid. Well, that's an impossibility for us YouTubers. So this whole thing can shut down any and all YouTube channels right here because any and all YouTube channels make money off of the content they produce. I am making money off of this video right now. It's probably like 30 cents. This includes all forms of fundraising activity and generation of advertising revenue. Yep, this is strictly, this advertising revenue is a direct shot at Google, meaning that you cannot make money off of Warhammer 40K merchandise or imagery or stories or anything. This right here can shut down any and all lore channels. This can shut down my channel as well. Must be blah blah blah, except for no charge digital distribution. Okay, so you can't make any money off of their stuff. Make it clear that it is unofficial. Um, I don't know how to do that when I'm sponsored by Games Workshop. Like I know Remlays and most lore YouTubers are not sponsored, though. I swear at this point, Wolf Lord Bro should definitely be sponsored considering all of the good work he does and includes the word unofficial uh, prominent on the front cover okay so um, that can't work we don't we don't make uh, that kind of stuff um, ooh try to defend this in court goodwill okay or the integrity of games workshop or its intellectual properties I would love to see somebody try to defend goodwill in court. Uh, that is that is very arbitrary, and that can mean literally anything. They can just say that you said something mean about the Imperium that they themselves wrote, and you could repeat it, and they could take down your channel. Especially being when you're talking about things like Slaanesh, things like cults, the Imperium being a bunch of fascists. This is very common stuff that's in the Imperium written about that they themselves can then shut you down for as a channel. Fan artwork. Individuals may create their own artwork, drawings, and designs based on our characters and settings, but these must uh, not include artwork or imagery copied from any official uh, Games Workshop material. Uh, this is kind of funny considering that Games Workshop themselves has accidentally stolen third-party artwork um, and has edited pictures in their own books and has lifted stories and gotten in trouble since their old um, Imperial Armor books are all filled with copyrighted images of World War II with 40k models modeled in front of them. So, and I don't think those fall under public domain. Not to be uh, publicly, publicly distributed except for a no charge digital distribution. Um, that's that's a no-go, Chief. That is That gets rid of any and all involvement of any fan base anywhere trying to paint or draw or make uh, prints of stuff from your own universe 
which works as advertising. This is this is kind of a huge kick in the face to anybody who's like a really good artist, especially people like Disharmonia, when Disharmonia has created the most iconic looking Primarchs, even more iconic looking than Games Workshop's Primarchs. Just putting this out there. Uh, and again, Goodwill. It's something else that could be shut down. There is a lot of bad things that happen in Games Workshop and things that can be drawn and directly tied to Games Workshop. Do I need to even bring up the Demon Calaba or Glanhounds or Slanesh Demons? There is a lot of stuff that cannot be shown that would incorporate goodwill. And I did the air quotes around that. Um, from Games Workshop, from their own properties. Like, ugh. Okay, but this is the thing, again, that Games Workshop can protect itself from. So I am battling with both my business degree and knowing every inside, in and out of a business versus my want to create and express and experience Games Workshops at conventions and things because the second a convention sees any of this, they'll just throw everything Games Workshop out the window. Unless Games Workshop themselves is sponsoring the entire event. Fan sites. Individual may create their own fan sites based on our characters and settings, but they can't. That's, again, what this is saying. Uh, not include text, artwork, imagery, footage, or animations copied from any official Games Workshop material. Make it clear that it is unofficial uh, with using, without using any Games Workshop logos which would be very, very difficult to do considering that you would have to use their logo or their brand name in order to tell people that it's unofficial. So this is a double, like a double-edged sword right here. They can get you for just saying it's unofficial and sue you. Uh, not post or display rules or stats copied from any, from, from any official Games Workshop material. Now, this I think is uh, interesting considering that I do reviews for them and I am sponsored by them to do this. So I'm gonna have to message uh, my rep and figure this one out because I can't post the book. I'm, I'm not the one that's like scanning the book and sending out everything, but I do have my camera over my shoulder when I'm reading through the book itself. So can I just not show the books at all? Like, how do I go about making, um, like, how do I go about making battle reports if I can't show any of the things that I own? Um, so that's kind of interesting. Honestly, it doesn't say anything about battle reports. Fan fiction, hobby books and magazines, fan artwork, fan sites. It doesn't say anything about their models. Because models are not in imagery not footage or animation or artwork or text. Um, huh, I guess this gets, I guess my channel is safe from this if I just keep doing battle reports. Okay, underlying rights, uh, please be aware that the fan content is created based on our settings and characters. Games Workshop retains ownership in respects of the underlying intellectual properties, rights in those worlds. I would love to see you lose another, another uh, lawsuit for this one. This would be great. Especially if I just posted a picture of a space marine and made him as generic looking as possible. Um, and therefore such fan content cannot be sold or otherwise monetized. Hmm. Hum, hum, hum. I think I can. I know I can get around this very quickly and very easily. Um, all you have to do is draw it in a different style and you're perfectly fine to distribute it. We have a zero tolerance policy that is incorrect. Um, counterfeiting models. Now, I love the way they say counterfeiting models. Uh, our products must not be reproduced and sold. Now, what about third party market? As in uh, models bought and then resold. Um, Reproduced, so I'm guessing they just mean re recasts. Um, good luck trying to catch them. They're all in Russia and they're all in China, so you can't catch them on that. Um, our products must not be models which heavily from Games Workshop's artwork. Okay, recasting 
recasting and 3D printing. So how do you counterfeit a model without recasting it and 3D printing it? That's something I'm gonna have to discover. Our products must not be illegally recast or be illegally recast or scanned, nor should digital design of our products be legally produced and distributed. Okay, legally downloading our publications, audiobooks, and other materials protected by copyright must uh, not be legally uploaded, shared, or distributed. This is all com common stuff. Every business does this. Unauthorized use of our trademarks. Unauthorized. Yep, this is fine. Uh, fan films and animations. Individuals must not create fan films or animations based on our settings characters. These are only to be created under license from Games Workshop. Um, hang on a second. Let's go over to YouTube really quickly. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Just going over to my subscribers really quickly. Um, so Stardies is owned by Games Workshop now. And I don't mean owned, they're contracted by Games Workshop. Um, I know Marcus backed out. I know a Starday actually just backed out as well. So he can no longer make uh, content for them. Uh, Sodas is still with them, I believe. Yeah, Sodas is with them now. Um, I would love to see one of my personal favorite channels go up against them, which has made a, a rather funny animation about this. And one of their funny animations, I won't mention their channel here, includes uh, the Black Templar killing a very particular set of uh, a very particular fan group. So I wonder if GW will try to shut that down. Individuals must not create computer games or apps based on our characters and settings. These are not only to be created under, these are only to be created under the license of Games Workshop. Now, how do you, uh, this is a, this is a direct shot at like, um, what's it called, Battlescribed. But they hired the people to battle from Battlescribe to make their app. So are they going to sue the people that they hired to make their app because of an app they already created? <sighs> okay. So there's a lot to go over here. All right. Okay. So most of the stuff is not about battle reports, which is good. It's about the distribution of the artwork from Warhammer 40k, which is all over Facebook, and honestly is not a problem at all, considering that they personally, did, you know, actually give the, the damn people, like, the, the time of day and actually credit their artists. Okay? Okay. Um, this is mostly just a, a protection to shut down channels that are bad. This is definitely going to target channels that are considered edgy, or considered a little bit um, arch-like, let's just say. Um, this is definitely going to be something that shuts down those types of channels. I think my channel is going to be okay from this, though I am doing this video, which might get me shut down and disqualified from sponsorship, which I am worried about. But at the end of the day, I'm kind of not worried about because it is what it is. And I, I'd rather have my integrity than be a sellout. So I'm going to tell you straight up how I feel about this. This is basic. This is pretty much how every business tries to uphold all of their intellectual properties. But at the end of the day, you can still make anything that you want. Once GW starts knocking on your door, which it rarely will. Um, and if it does, usually it's for a job. So that's kind of cool. Um, but if GW threatens you with a lawsuit, fight them. You'll probably win. GW has never won a lawsuit in their entire existence. They lost against Fox. They've lost against Chapter House. They've lost against um, another uh, creator. And they haven't been able to buy much of any other companies. So really, it boils down to GW probably just doesn't have the time of day and it'll probably just hit you with a cease and desist. And if you just fight it, you'll win. That's my whole take on this entire thing. Is it 
Is it a little bit bad? Yes, absolutely. This is very, very, very weird. I don't like this. But at the same time, from a business standpoint, I completely understand everything that they've done in here. And the weird part is, I don't know where their sponsored content would kick in and where it would protect you. So I am gonna message my representative and see what's going on with that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I wanna know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below, and please watch the entire video before complaining, though you probably already complained. Again, this is a news segment, and I am allowed to do this, and it is protected under copyright. So, this is news in the hobbying community. I am good on this. As always, I'm Norn Queen Alexis. I love you guys. Bye.